Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. So it has been a while since we showed this tank and we do get a lot of questions, especially to do with the puffer fish. So I thought I would do an update on the tank, also an update on how the puffer fish are doing. And I thought I'd show you everything that we feed the puffer fish. So the tank for those of you that may be new to our channel is our 75 gallon tank. It has three freshwater Amazon puffers in, and then it also has the Denison barbs, also known as Roseline sharks, and they are the big fish at the bottom with the red and black stripe. We also have Harlequin rasboras, which are the ones swimming near the top that are orange and black. And then at the bottom, we also have some Pictus catfish. There are also a few plecs in here. We have a rubber lip plec and a clown pleco, but it's not very likely that we're gonna see those today. So the tank in general is doing exceptionally well. Since we lined it out with the black PVC board that we use for the dividers that we also make, it has made a huge difference in how the Amazon puffers behave. They do not do any surfing anymore. They are extremely active. They just love to swim up and down and they're constantly on the hunt for food. In fact, I don't know whether you can see all down there, we've sort of got like a snail graveyard. We do add a lot of snails to the tank. At the moment, we're only producing enough to maybe give them snails four to five times a week. Ideally, we really need to be doing it every day. But at the moment, we're not producing quite enough snails and so we're not able to do that. But hopefully, as time goes on, we've got several tanks at now producing snails. And so hopefully, we'll be able to get more snails going so that they can have what they actually need on a daily basis. So I've actually got some of the foods out, so we'll take a look at them. Unfortunately, the lighting is not very good, but I think that you will be able to see it okay. So we do a variety of frozen foods. We have chopped clams, bloodworms, we do beef heart, and we do brine shrimp. I also do mice shrimp, but I didn't get that out. And then we also feed the freeze-dried krill, and we do frozen shrimp as well. Uh, so they also get that. Obviously they get the snails. I've got some in here ready to actually go in the tank. Now they will eat the rapashi gel food, but that is more when I'm feeding the other fish. They just go ahead and eat it. That actually is very unusual for Amazon pu puffers to eat that food. And then they will actually also eat pellet food as well. I've just got a mixture of pellets in here. And again, that is quite unusual as well. So typically speaking, when it comes to Amazon puffers, you need to do the free freeze-dried, obviously the, the snails, these are actually ram's horn snails, and then also the frozen foods, and you do need to do a big variety. In the beginning, we did find that ours would actually only eat the bloodworms, that was all they would eat, but we have managed now to get them onto the clams, the beef heart, the brine shrimp, and the mysis shrimp. So they are eating a really wide variety diet. However, I have noticed, and I don't know whether I can really get it to show up on camera, but I have noticed that their teeth are still getting long despite that. And I suspect that it's probably because we're not able to do the snails every single day and we can only do it, like I say, four to five times a week. So that's just unfortunate, but we are working on it and I'm hoping that over time they will grind down. Some people have suggested to do clams on the half shell and we have tried it and tried it and tried it over the last three to four months and they will just not touch it. I have put it in the tank about three to four times a week and again, they just won't bother with it. So I have actually given up with that now because I just feel it fouls the water up. None of the other fish will go near it and neither will the puffers. So. I have given up on that, but I'm hoping that the uh, giving them more snails as we go along will be making a difference. So I'm going to add some snails into the tank and let's see if we can actually catch them eating them on camera. Sometimes some of these snails do actually get away, which I think is good because then it does mean that they will then go on the hunt for them. Uh, so that they're actually hunting the food and it's not just a case of the food is going into the tank. 
Usually when I put the snails in, they don't tend to bother with them first off. They usually wait to see if something else is being offered and then eventually they will actually go for them. So during this footage, they probably won't go for them and then later on they will. And I will try and get some footage for you if that's the case. So you can see now one of them is going down there. I think he thinks something else is going on because the uh, pictures came out, but they're obviously living in hopes that we're gonna get something else. It looks like a few of the snails have actually escaped so hopefully they will actually make it out into the tank but like I say usually they don't last very long they're picked off pretty quickly but I think that that's a good thing for the puffer fish because it, it, it encourages the hunting and they don't get bored which then means they're not sort of snapping at the other fish and obviously we don't want that either so uh, a lot of people have been saying that they're having issues with them living with other fish and I'm not sure whether for us it's just because they're in such a large tank and the tank is far from overstocked or whether it's because ours will eat the snails and obviously will do the hunting behavior that that sort of keeps them preoccupied by far their favorite foods are bloodworms and when you first get these little guys that is something that you do need to watch because they will literally only eat bloodworms if you're not careful. So you do need to make sure that you give quite a variety of foods right from the beginning. And even if they're not eating them, you still need to keep offering them because otherwise you will be stuck with puffer fish that will only eat bloodworms and that will definitely not wear their teeth down or do them any good. These are adorable, cute fish, but the one thing I would say is if you are thinking of getting some of these fish, just make sure you do a lot of research first. They are so, so cute and they do get quite large. And I would say that they, whilst they are easy to care for as far as water changes and all of that sort of thing goes, I would say from the eating standpoint and obviously making sure that they get a very diet, that can actually be quite challenging in the beginning. So it is something that you need to be aware of because they can be so, so picky and not want to eat. I have had a lot of messages with people having trouble with them and we did go through all the same troubles in the beginning as well. They also need a lot of medication in the beginning because they're wild caught, then they do need to be treated for worms and parasites and all that sort of thing. But having said that, they are absolutely adorable. They are so full of personality, which is why we absolutely love them. They're just like little puppy dogs and they are so responsive to you when you come into the room or come to close to the tank. They're just constantly begging for food and they're just absolutely adorable. I am just, just gonna drop in some pellets for the other fish and you'll probably see the uh, puffers going for these as well. It's quite funny watching them trying to get them in the mouths, but uh, they usually will go for them and sometimes they can get them in the mouth so you'll see them sort of carrying them and swimming around with them but for the most part they'll sort of get one in the mouth and then they'll just wait until it softens and then they'll crunch down on it so they will eat pellet food but that is not normal from what i can gather in the research i've done and all the people that i've talked to uh, that the fact that ours do eat rapashi gel food and they will eat pellet food that is far from normal so please don't go buying these fish thinking oh well they'll eat pellet food or they'll just eat sort of dried prepared food because that's actually not the case they won't for the most part you can see the crazy pictus catfish there we don't see them very often they tend to live under the uh, the anubius there in this sort of area this is where they usually will hang out and when the food comes down then they'll come sort of flying out to get it and then go straight back in so they uh, they're quite a shy fish they tend to be more nocturnal and they'll come out at night but, but they are doing very well in the tank the larger fish with the red and black line, like I said, they are denison barbs and these get to about five to six inches. Ours are probably about four to four and a half right now. They do need large tanks because they do like to swim fast and ideally they do need to be in larger groups. For us personally, we found any less than five and they will fight like crazy amongst themselves. We have six right now, all sort of varying sizes. Uh, I think probably that one right there 
Uh, this one sort of under here is probably the largest I think that we've got. Um, I'm not quite sure, but they are getting very, very large and boy, do they eat a lot of food, an awful lot of food. Uh, so when the food goes in, they're the ones that sort of start the feeding frenzy and everybody then knows that food is coming. The plants in this tank are doing really well. We just use our root tabs, which we do sell on our website. And then I also do dose the tank with H2O plants vital. Uh, I do that usually just about once a week when I do a water change. I will then add in a dose just after the water change. So the tank is doing really well. The plants are very healthy and it is an easy tank to maintain. We just do about a 50, 60% water change once a week and that's all we have to do. So I hope you enjoyed the update on these adorable little guys. I do wish they'd swim a little slower so I could actually get some really good footage of them. But unfortunately, they don't like to play that game. They like to swim fast. They like to move around fast. And that's just the way that they are. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed to this channel and would like to see more videos like this, then please do so. And we'll see you in the next video.